Greetings, brothers and sisters. This is Pastor Keith bringing you another relevant revelation by podcast to keep you enlightened and to keep you encouraged in your daily walk with Christ. This is 2014, and today's podcast is titled Prayer for Government Leaders. Today's podcast is a prayer for government leaders. From time to time, we see things happening in our government leaders that we absolutely know are not godly. This simply is an indication that the devil has worked his way in and is using an individual or group to bring discord into the life of that government leader and into our government. Join me as I pray this prayer for government leaders all across our nation and all across the world. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, Lord, our daily bread, and forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation and deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Father God, I come to your throne room today on behalf of the leaders of our government and other governments across the entire world, O oh God. Your holy word says that we should not be surprised when leaders begin to fall and nations rise up against nations, as these events are your prophecy, Lord, being fulfilled. Lord Jesus, I'm a living witness to the happenings and events that you said would take place in these last days, and I come to you as my intercessor to offer up prayer for all the leaders in government in all the lands. Lord, some of them will stand and some of them will fall. But I ask you to place a hedge of protection, Lord, around them all. Lord Jesus, I ask that you give them peace that passes all understanding to guard their hearts and to guard their minds through any and every trial and tribulation that they must face at home, in the halls of government, in the media, and at any place they must walk. Order their steps, Lord Jesus. Let every place they need to walk be a path that is already ordered and orchestrated by you, Lord, for the benefit of the people, Lord. Let every government leader know that you are high priest, that you are Alpha and Omega, that you are the one who gives them life and breath and sustenance and comfort and all that they are, all that they are, Lord, is wrapped up in you, O oh God. Let every government leader know that you are the righteous judge, that you are the sinless one, that you died on a cross so that all our sins could be forgiven and we could have an opportunity to live in eternity with you, O oh God. Let every government leader know that they can confess and repent and surrender to your will and that you will hold them in your hand and protect them, Lord. Let them know that they can still seek your face and ask your will before every decision they make that will affect masses of people or even a single individual, Lord. Let them know that their decisions are more than just about them. Father God, I ask that you bridle the tongues of government leaders, Lord. Bridle the tongues of anyone who would have anything negative or untrue to say about government leaders, Lord. Lord, let their yes mean yes and their no mean no. And place it in the mouths of our government leaders, Lord. Oh God, our government leaders are under attack. Even from pastors in their pulpits, Lord. 
I've witnessed pastors read gossip about government leaders on the internet and believe it and pass it on as truth to their congregations, Lord, without having been there to witness it or to see irrefutable proof that such things occur. And most importantly, Lord, I ask that you place it on the heart of every pastor that is doing this, that your word says you place government leaders in their positions and place it on pastor's heart to pray for government leaders rather than passing judgment on them, even if what they say is true because judgment and punishment is still reserved for you, Lord. And Lord Jesus, let them know that as pastors, they should practice forgiveness first. Oh God, let this prayer reach the hearts of pastors and government leaders all over the world so that they can unite. They can hear it and unite and come together and receive the message to come together with one another for the purpose of establishing a united front to stand against demonic influence. Let them come together, Lord, to push Satan aside and away from causing any division in anything that the government and the church is doing under, doing under you, O oh God. Let them put the devil under their feet and be reminded that the book of Revelations chapter 20 Verse 10 says the devil is already defeated. So there is no reason whatsoever that we should give him any power that he does not exact himself. And his fate is already sealed, Lord. And government leaders, as do the rest of us, still have space and time to repent, Lord Jesus. Oh Lord, thank you for hearing my cry and my prayer and thank you for answering me on this day. I pray for your will to be done. And although you gave me this prayer over a month ago, thank you for placing it on my heart that this would be the day that it would go forward. Let it go forth, Lord. Let it reach the people that you would have it to reach. Let them hear the words that you have spoken through me. And let it rest on good ground. In Jesus' name, amen. Brothers and sisters, if you join me in praying this prayer for our government leaders, thank you. We cannot know firsthand the oppositions they face as elected officials without walking in their shoes. They have an incredible task and they don't always get it right or even make the right decisions. But they still need our prayer and our forgiveness. And before we attempt to pass judgment, we should always remember that our own sins are and have been forgiven. This is Pastor Keith bringing you another relevant revelation by podcast to keep you enlightened and to keep you encouraged in your daily walk with Christ. May God bless you and may he keep you today and always in Jesus name. Amen.